Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to show you a quick painting tutorial um, that Ryan came up with. He calls it Bloody Simple Orcs. Or Bloody it, Simple Bad Moons. Yeah. Put intended. Um, and it's a way to paint your orcs, um, in this case my bad moons, in a really fast and simple, efficient way that looks great. And you finish model... Little bit of rock in there as I move that around. Comes out really nicely. The one problem I always have with orcs is that when you see them on the tabletop, they can have really, really nice paint jobs, but they just look like they've never seen battle. And orcs, as we all know, one of the bloodthirstiest races in the galaxy, war is their life, and... Oh, we've got some more examples here. Tons. Excellent. So, I'll talk you through how to get these going. Um, it's really easy. I am a terrible painter, um, but with this method you really cannot go wrong. So, you take your model. Doesn't matter what type of arc it is, this paint scheme transfers uh, across the board. And you want to be basing it with Avalanche Sunset. Or any similar spray. Yeah, I think we used uh, Hyco. Hyco, oh, I um, that was it, primer. Um, but basically, it's a, it's a colour match for Avalanche Sunset. So once you've done that, you then wash your model entirely with uh, Lamenta's Yellow. And as you can see, or you use a Cassandra yellow, whatever it's called. That hits into all these little recesses here. A little bit of autofocus going on there, sorry guys. Uh, the flesh is done very, very simply with WAG flesh. Um, you paint that on, obviously you're thinning down your paints, guys. Um, so you can glaze it with the lamenters if you actually have the... Only yellow. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, then your model gets washed with Agrax Earthshade all over. Um, that makes all your recesses pop. Again, very simple. Most people use this step on, on any sort of model that they do. Um, works really well. The Warboss Green is for the skin. Uh, and you would dry brush that over the top of the wag flesh. Um, you really just want to dry brush to pick up some more of the um, ridges, the ridges like and ridges. stuff. Really dead simple. Um, from then on, I use the Abaddon Black. Or any type of black. Any yeah. type of black absolutely works. Um, and as you can see on this model, I hit the boots with it, the hair. You could hit the belt with it if you really wanted, but actually, there's no real need. At the end of the day, this is an idea for speed painting through these orcs. Um, because you'll have a lot of models to do. Uh, then the pants... Very simply, Morn Fang Brown. It's all used, watered down. Other tips, you can use different shades like Caribou Crimson or any other type of shade. And you can literally just do a bunch of uh, various layers of shades on the pants and over the yellow you'll get different colours based on what shade you use. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is, this is literally just a colour scheme for what I've done, but the pants can be any colour, the shirts can be any colour. Um, the basics are these paints right here and then from there on it's up to you uh, I used ash grey for the shirt area and then gave it another wash of Agrax over the top to make it dirty and a bit more rugged uh, really simple and then the key to this paint scheme has to be said is blood for the blood god 
Love for the Blood God um, is just brilliant. So I just apply it anywhere on the model where I think blood splashback would be um, on the arms, the hands, gun. Flip this guy around on his weapon. Completely random, no real sort of niceness to this. On his cuff again, you can see it on his hand. And it just makes the model look like it's been in battle. Back of the pants, a little bit of blood on there, a little bit of blood on his back. Really, really simple. The benefit of this as well is that it can cover up any blemishes from your speed painting. So if you've made a tiny little error or you've gone over a line that you didn't want to, Blood for the Blood God covers that straight up. Not a problem. The thinner it goes on, the more it looks like we'll show you that back area at the bottom of that back area. The more it just looks like regular paint. But then if you put it on slightly thicker, you get a glossy effect with it, which is really, really nice. Um, but it's really fast, really effective. And if I can do it, guys, genuinely, you can do it as well. Um, and I think it makes the army look really good. So here's a shot of uh, a 30-man squad that I've completed already. Now, I'm not often proud of my painting, but actually, I think these guys look really, really nice. I like they've been in a really good scrap. I also use Blood for the Blood God on other models. Um, Gorkonauts there at the back, he's got it on his claw. Bits on the base. Um, you see it on the claws over there. At the Death Dread on the base, around the toes. But a really simple paint scheme. Really effective and really easy. Just follow the steps through like we've just discussed. And you'll get some really great results, guys. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.